Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie and today I am going to be taking you guys through my first week of recommitting to my weight loss and fitness journey. In my last video, I talked about everything I did in order to lose 36 pounds and I kind of fell off the bandwagon um, and I haven't reached my ultimate goal weight. I was halfway there and of course the pandemic hit and I gained about eight, seven to eight of those pounds back. I figured the best way to keep me accountable is to show you guys week by week, day by day, meal by meal, workout by workout, like literally document every little thing for you guys. I'm gonna insert a little before video of my physique. This is day one and I am starting at 149 pounds and I did take my measurements. I am 38.5 inches in the bust. I am 31 inches in the under bust. So that's like right underneath um, where your like bra strap is. Um, I am 31.25 inches in the smallest part of my waist. I am 37.5 inches around my belly button, 42 inches around my hips, and I am about 25 inches in my thighs, my calves are 15 inches, and my biceps are 12 inches. Now the lowest that I was at before following the bandwagon, the lowest weight I reached was 139, which now that I think about it, so that means I've gained 10 pounds since falling off the bandwagon and during quarantine. So it's a lot more than I thought it was. Not a lot more, like two pounds more. So basically, I wanted to follow the same kind of strategy, the same kind of steps I took last go around and apply it to this go around to get back on track. And that meant on Monday, I wrote down my goals for the week and the steps that I needed to take that I knew I had to take in order to reach my goal for the week. So basically, I wanted to lose ten, two pounds this week. My goal was to work out four times this week, at least four times this week. I knew that one of those workouts, I definitely wanted it to be an hour long. Um, I also knew that I wanted to stick to a keto, or not so much keto, I'm not gonna say it's strictly keto, it's not. It's m more of a low carb diet. I wasn't tracking my calories or like my carb intake this week just because I knew it was gonna overwhelm me. I will slowly implement that as the weeks go on. Um, but for this week, I just wanted to focus on avoiding the bread, avoiding the processed sugars, avoiding the pasta and the rice, avoiding all those white carby foods, um, processed carbs basically, and um, high sugar items like processed sugars obviously like cakes candies but also like high sugar fruits and i stuck to like berries instead of like apples and bananas these were all steps that i took in the beginning part of my journey and i knew that were effective for me i also just wanted to say that i am not a doctor i just wanted to show you guys what has worked for me in the past and wanted to experiment and document to see if it still works for me. I'm not coming on here to tell you that you need to go on a low carb diet, you need to work out X amount of times a week or however long um, per workout or do these certain workouts to lose weight. You don't. This is a process that I was going to take anyway. I just figured why not film it and share it. I know not all of you are going to be interested in every little tedious thing I ate or workout that I did in order to get my results. All you guys care about are just that, the results. So I will leave some kind of like timestamp or whatever around, somewhere around here and that will take you to my results at the very end of the video. Hi guys, it is two o'clock on day one of recommitting to my weight loss journey and I'm about to work out. Now I wanted to do a really like hardcore one today but I'm, I'm actually kind of like anxious to like chill for the day and finish watching the um what's that show I'm watching? The Undoing. I'm, I'm like I think I'm on episode four and there's only like six episodes but I really want to finish it so I'm gonna do like a quick but intense 30 minute workout decided i'm gonna do the booty burn and tabata workout by heather robinson which if you don't know she's incredible um she is this incredible like personal trainer on youtube that does like free youtube workouts i discovered her last month and she has quickly become one of my faves and i did eat already i had my first meal of the day about i say like 45 minutes ago i got a rotisserie chicken and i had some uh cucumbers with some tahini on top 
and I had a side of uh, sugar-free honey mustard, uh, which is incredible, I'm so obsessed with. Pretty low carb, really low sugar, and it was super filling and it really hit the spot like that. Honey mustard is like my new obsession. So let me quit yapping and let me get on with my workout so I can finish watching my show. Underestimated that workout. I got sweat going in my eyeballs and it's stinging. Um, if you can't already tell, I'm pretty sweaty. Yeah, that Tabata portion was no joke. I haven't done Tabata and I can't even, I don't even remember the last time I've done Tabata years. And now I remember why I don't usually go for them because they're highly repetitive. And because they're highly repetitive, it's like, um, it's like a mental endurance like challenge for me like I love Heather Robinson because she does a lot of no repeat workouts as well she kicks your butt no matter what um, but you don't realize like doing the same move over and over again is like not only like a muscle burnout but also like a mental burnout I burn about like 310 total active calories is 261 so it's pretty good I mean it's definitely nowhere near what you would burn in a HIIT workout but that's pretty good for me for today for my post-workout snack I had some too good coconut yogurt which is my fave I topped it off with some berries some coconut flakes some walnut chopped walnuts and lily sugar-free chocolate chips So I have a huge sweet tooth and it usually hits me late at night. Um, my daughter had ice cream and I'm going to have one of these as much as I want ice cream. But I haven't tried this flavor yet. This is the Caramel Nut Fiber One Chewy Protein Bar. It's not the super cleanest thing to eat, honestly. It's not clean at all. It's very, it's obviously it comes in a package so it's processed. But, um... You know, I need all the help I can get right now. <laughs> and um, this will hopefully do the trick. So for day two breakfast, I just had two eggs over easy, which is my preferred way of eating them, and two Jimmy Dean turkey sausage patties, which were actually really good. This was my first time having them. Today's lunch is the same thing I had yesterday, the rotisserie chicken with some cucumbers and tahini, and a side of that sugar-free honey mustard that I love so much. I was craving some chocolate chip pancakes for dinner, so I am using this Birch Vendors Paleo Pancake Mix. They have a keto one, but I just prefer the texture of this one better. And I topped it the same way I topped my yogurt, some berries and some sugar-free whipped cream. I also had a side of uh, a spinach omelet with some everything but the bagel seasoning on top just to add some more protein to my dinner. workout if the camera the image is shaky right now it's because I am I can't even tell I'm shaking I'm trembling my arms are trembling I powered through the last 30 minutes barely just barely wanting to quit so badly I'm dead so let me show you guys real quick how much how many calories I burned like what my stats are I hope you guys can see that clearly so 71 minutes in and I burned 677 or 577 I don't even ever know which one to go by
If I look a little ratchet, it's because I just finished my workout. I actually had to end it short just because... Oh no, why does it hurt? It's actually cut short by like 15 minutes. Um, because my Mimi came down, my baby girl came down, and I hadn't seen her since yesterday afternoon. Oh, you're so excited. Anyway, so I, you know, I hung out with her for a little bit, but now I'm rushing to get my stuff ready for work. I gotta go take a shower, get myself ready, and I'm making myself um, like a spinach omelet. That's like a lot of spinach. This is three eggs with a ton of spinach and two slices of cheese, and I just wanted to make sure it was a super filling omelet because my Saturday day shifts are my super, super busy shifts of the week, and I probably won't be able to eat till much, much later. So it is day six, I think. It might be day five still. Honestly, I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I will tell you it's like about 6.35 in the evening and I just got off work not too long ago. I kind of just wanted to give you guys like a face-to-face -face kind of update. I just realized that I didn't film or take a picture of this morning's um, breakfast, which was just a three egg omelet with like spinach and then I added cream cheese to it because I knew I had a long day ahead of me and I knew it was gonna be really busy. I probably really wasn't gonna have a chance to really sit and eat. Um, so I wanted something that was gonna be really filling and keep me fuller like longer, um, which it did because by the time I got off work, I really didn't have an appetite um honestly the past two days what i realized i'm not as ravenous as i was maybe like the first two or three days not to say i was ravenous then but like i really don't feel like i have an appetite these last two days um like i was okay not eating after work um but i did eat i had um two hard boiled eggs and then I had some sweet peppers. I didn't fill them up with cream cheese this time. I had them as is just because I just wanted to enjoy them as is. They're so freaking good, I'm addicted to them. I'm gonna do a bit of a workout. I'm gonna do a short one. I'm not gonna do anything too intense. I'm gonna try to find something low impact or um, something with no jumping. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but I'll of course show you guys. Oh, I have also been feeling very lean. I feel leaner and which is funny because I'm actually supposed to get my period any day now and usually right at the start of my period or like the day or two beforehand before that I'm like super bloated I feel awful I woke up this morning just craving a taco salad I didn't wake up hungry but I just knew I had a taste for tacos so um, I'm definitely gonna have a taco salad for dinner tonight I'm so excited can't wait so I'm gonna go knock out this workout real quick and then eat my dinner okay so I just found this 30 minute full body boot camp workout by Sydney Cummings who is one of my favorite 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 um, YouTube trainers and this one's just a one dumbbell workout um, I, like I said I don't want to do anything too intense intensity <laughs> that was not what I was looking for I'm so sweaty also did not wear the right top for that kind of workout oh but I'm so happy it's done so here are my stats definitely knew I wasn't gonna burn 500 calories I'm so proud of myself for not quitting oh my god now I'm ready for dinner
Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm feeling today. I still don't have much of an appetite and I, I definitely feel like I under ate today. Um, I've just been kind of been on the go and busy. Um, so, but, and also I just don't really feel like eating. <laughs> um, just don't have an appetite. But um, I'm starting to think I'm getting the keto flu. And I'm sure under eating is not helping. Um, I'm starting, I kind of feel like a dull headache. Um, so I decided, I was on Pinterest and I decided I'm gonna make some, I'm on my bed, I'm lying on my stomach. <laughs> it's probably not the best angle, hold on. Anyways, I was on Pinterest and I found a recipe for sugar-free like keto pudding or keto um, mousse fluff using just like sugar-free pudding mix and heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna do that for tonight for dessert. Definitely gonna have a lot of calories in it. Uh, obviously because of the heavy whipping cream and it's gonna satisfy my sweet tooth. about this week so this week was actually week one was pretty great uh, for the most part um, I did work a lot a long 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 hours um, you guys of course didn't see that I can't take you to work with me um, but I felt like I really set myself up for success because I prepared all my meals for work and that uh, that made such a game changer for me because I work at a restaurant and we don't serve the healthiest food, um, especially like some of them, like the milkshakes and such like that. I prepare all those kind of things and the drinks and they are very decadent. Keeping myself accountable and recording myself, like knowing that at the end of the day I had to talk to you guys about what I did or what I put, what I ingested, kept me accountable and kept me away from doing those kinds of things. Um, and like I said, I think I really set myself up for success because I prepared ahead of time. And I know not every time is gonna be like that, but this week went really well in terms of being motivated enough and having the time and setting out the time actually to do that for myself. Um, so let's talk about results. So I definitely feel leaner. So I actually only lost 2.6 pounds and I went from 149 to 146.4. I'm still really proud of that number and I'm even more proud of my measurement guys. Wait till you hear how many inches I've lost so far. I've lost six 6.25 inches around my body. 6.25! Not only that, but I lost two inches alone in my hips. Two inches. And I also lost an inch and a quarter in the sm in my waist. So that's the smallest part of my waist, of my torso. I was blown away, super blown away about that total number. So even though I only lost 2.6 pounds, I lost much so far in terms of inches and I feel it I, I'm excited for week two I know it's only gonna get harder from here <laughs> it's not gonna be as like drastic and it's probably not gonna be as easy or I'm not gonna be as motivated as I was this past week I already know that um, but I gotta keep reminding myself and looking at these numbers and keep reminding me reminding myself that these little things they they do, they do make a difference to me. Like they, they motivate me so much. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys join me on the rest of my journey in the next couple of weeks. If you want to, go ahead, click that subscribe button. You can also follow me day to day on Instagram at ByLeslieQ. And you can also follow me on Twitter by the same handle. And until next time, guys.